So here is your snapshot for the cost of living in Colorado Springs as of March 2023. So if you're thinking about moving to Colorado Springs, maybe you're already living in Colorado Springs and you're like, hey, Mark, what's happened to my cost of living here in the Springs? Get ready for this. Buckle up. So compared to the national average, Colorado Springs as a whole, 5% higher than the national uh, average for cost of living. So we are higher here in Colorado Springs. Not really a surprise, but what might surprise you is we're only 10% higher uh, when it comes to the cost of housing to the national average. I thought we'd be well above that, but according to payscale.com, no, we are only 10% higher uh, than the national average. Our utilities, 4% higher than the national average, but fear not, we are 1% lower when it comes to groceries in Colorado Springs. We've got that going for us. Pack your bags. So um, the median home price here in Colorado Springs is 400,000. That's pretty doggone high comparatively. As we did our research, uh, and it depends on the part of the country that you're in, in the cities, the metro areas, things like that. Um, we're well below several that you can imagine um, uh, in certain states, but we're well above overall the national average. Again, 10% higher when it comes to housing. But here's where it gets weird. The median rent is $1,514 a month. That's huge. That is a very high rental rate, no question about it. Now, again, we've talked before in other videos uh, about the fact that uh, base housing allowance here for a military town is public knowledge. We all know what it is, and investors are all too willing to charge that. But $1,514 is our, uh, our median rent here in Colorado Springs. Next up, your utility bill. Your utility bill is going to run right around $183.19. Um, not terrible. Uh, of course, we've seen them higher, uh, but we've also seen them a touch lower. It depends on the time of year and how often that you're using those resources from a utility standpoint. Obviously, if you're watering your grass or you're running your air conditioner or your heater or your gas fireplace uh, in the winter, those utility bills are going to go up. But 183.19 is a good average. This one was kind of weird too, the phone bill. Um, and we clearly do not mean the phone that plugs into your wall because nobody uses that anymore. You're watching on your phone. And the phone bill right now is about 19707 here in Colorado Springs. So um, what was not clear is how many um, phones that included, what kind of plan you had, so on and so forth. But the average phone bill here in Colorado Springs, 19707 Hey, as always, we hope you found value in today's content. It would mean the world if you went down below, clicked on that thumbs up, and gave us a like on this cost of living information here in Colorado Springs. It would also mean a bunch if you clicked on the bell down there and subscribed to the channel. We are putting out content every single week to help you make Colorado Springs feel like home. If you are thinking about moving to the area, you can go in the description of the video down below. We have our relocation guide. It gives you just a little bit more of an idea of some criteria here in the city. Of what area might best fit your needs as you make your way here. And the link to our website, myfrontrangeliving.com, is in that description as well. Feel free to hop on there. We have lots of great information about Colorado Springs, things to do, places to go. Uh, and as well, if you want to search homes, you're welcome to do that from that site as well. We also have some great restaurant options we'd love for you to check out. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.